So now I'm going to ask that uh, my IT managers come up and give some specifics on the challenges, technology challenges that we face, uh, and the upcoming contracting opportunities that I briefly mentioned uh, previously. Tim Liu will give you an overview of uh, what infrastructure uh, is necessary uh, to move us forward at the airport. And Melody Johnson will come and talk about uh, airport technology, um, as well as our business systems, uh, what those challenges are, and what some of those uh, contracting opportunities are. So if you could please join me in welcoming Tim and Melody. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Timothy Liu. Uh, I've been at the city for uh, 28 years, uh, 18 years at LAWA, and 15 in the IT infrastructure. Uh, I'm director of the IT infrastructure coordination division. Uh, this presentation is an interactive, fast-paced presentation, so hopefully uh, people in the back can see the screen. It's, it's very important that you be able to see the screen to get the full effect of this pr presentation. <laughs> okay. Before uh, I start the presentation, uh, I'd like to introduce the staff. Uh, our group is uh, the Office of Infrastructure Technology. Uh, it's led by Nathan Look. Unfortunately, he had to be out of town uh, today, so he couldn't make it. So, but uh, I'm here, so. Uh, I'm in... Uh, like I said, I'm in charge of the Infrastructure Coordination Division. Uh, we have five groups. We have uh, Eddie Quach. Please stand up, Eddie. In charge of networks. Seven years at LAWA. Thank you, Eddie. Uh, Shala Delazada. Uh, seven years at LAWA, right, Shala? She's in charge of uh, servers and storage. Uh, the wireless and voice communications, we have uh, Julia Villanueva, um, 17 years at LAWA. And last but not least, we have uh, Florindo Carlos, 18 years at LAWA. So we have a very experienced team at LAWA. Okay. Before we start, does anybody recognize who this person is? Does anybody? It's not Pete Carroll. <laughs> it's not Vince Lombardi. It's John Wooden. John Wooden, the greatest coach in all of sports. Voted by ESPN, <laughs> the Wizard of Westwood, 10 national championships, seven in a row. He, he led his team to 88 game winning streak, the greatest coach. And they asked John Wooden, what is your formula for success? He came out with the pyramid of success. So when I looked at the pyramid of success, I saw all the attributes that I would look for in a partnership. I'm not going to go through all these attributes. It's not what it's about. But first of all, we're looking for enthusiasm, right? We want vendors who are enthusiastic, who has a real passion for what they do. We're looking for uh, partnerships, companies, individuals that have initiative that are able to raise the bar, right? That are able to think and analyze things on their own and come up with the, you know, decisions. Lao is a very fast-paced environment. We're not always going to have time to provide specific details on everything that we would want the vendors to do, okay? What's interesting about this uh, 
pyramid of success is the center one, skills. There's no question. In the IT world, you have to have IT skills. But not only to have skills in the IT world, but we're also looking for attention to details. Confidence. Lawa has a lot of obstacles. Approval process, bureaucracies, but we're looking for companies to overcome the obstacles, to believe in getting it done and finding a way to get it done. And lastly, competitive greatness. In order for Lawa to do great things, we need great companies. We need great products. We need great services. And we need great staff. Okay? So that's my opening pitch of, to all the vendors out there, what attributes we're looking for, okay? So John Wooden has his, own, has his formula of success. We in Lao IT, we also have our formula of success. We also have a formula. For Lao IT systems, Melody is gonna be talking about the security system, the CCTV, the badging. Uh, so I'll let her talk about that. But uh, this is our formula for success for, it's called the pyramid for, uh, for systems, okay? So on the base, we have the infrastructure, and then from there, we got the network, we got data servers, uh, data storage, standards, policies, and then uh, software, and then ultimately, the field devices. The field devices are all the cool devices. It could be your Fitbit, it could be your mobile device, your mobile iPhone. But what happens when you send, press that send button? That's what we do. We do all the back end stuff. We, uh, we make the magic happen, okay? So if you, if you uh, watch football, we're the offensive line, we're the defensive line. Okay, we're not the quarterback, we're not the wide receivers. So, field devices. Just a, a list uh, to give you a magnitude, you know. The numbers is, we got 3,250 card readers, 3,400 plus CCT cameras, nearly 2,000 portable radios, uh, over 2,300 uh, workstations at Lawa. So this just gives you the feel of the magnitude of the, the work that we do, okay? So, but Melody will talk about that. I'm the back-end person, okay? So infrastructure, when we talk about infrastructure, we're talking about the physical infrastructure, okay? The conduit, cabling, IT room, that's the physical infrastructure the fiber connection, the, uh, the data connections. So just to give you a flavor, 140 uh, buildings, six, 600 comm rooms, 1,000 underground maintenance hall, lots of conduit, lots of fiber, uh, tons of copper. We have uh, three data centers, one backup cent recovery center, again. This is what we do, this is what we maintain. And this is, give you a feel of the magnitude again. Network, uh, 60 routers, nearly 700 switches, 21 gate controllers, 749 access points. So we're still trying to, even though that's a lot of access points, we're still moving, trying to transition to get more access points installed. Servers, this is what the Shala's expertise is. 652 uh, servers slash virtual servers. Data storage, 3,000 plus terabytes of data storage. Approximately we probably have half is used and we have half that's still available. And then the standards and policies and procedures. Right here, 
is the 550-page IT standards booklet. This is readily available. Go to www.lawa.org. You go to the website, go to the design and construction handbook, and then the subset is IT. This is a three-volume book. It includes, it's not only for the IT designers, not only for IT project managers, uh, IT operational staff, but it's a great resource for vendors or potential vendors. I highly recommend that you go and take a look at this and even print it out. It'll be well worth it, okay? And it's all free. Challenges we face, challenges we face. Mobile device usage. I looked up the trends. 68% of the adults in the U.S. own a smartphone. 45% of adults in the U.S. own a tablet computer. Smartphones account for 33% of all internet traffic. Smartphones are the sole form of high-speed internet access for 10% of adults in the U.S. And the last but not least, adults in the U.S. spend approximately 4.7 hours per day on their smartphone. What does that mean for LAWA? That means 56 million traveling passengers to LAX will have a smartphone at least. And at least 60, maybe 70, 80, 90 percent of the time when they're at LX, they're going to be using their mobile devices. So that's a huge challenge for us. And uh, Barbara was talking about the guest experience. You may have all the cool devices in the world, but if you don't have a reliable, scalable, secure inter uh, infrastructure, it's going to impact the guest experience. The other challenge we face, everything becomes smart, right? Everything is smart. Smart everything. So what does that mean? Basically, it means that things are be going to be connected to the internet. Most of the time, you think of people with their mobile devices or their laptops that they connect to the internet. But things are start to be connected to the internet. Things like your toothbrush, your refrigerator, your vehicles, your lighting. Eventually, everything is going to be connected to the internet. And that's why they're calling this uh, the internet of things the next industrial revolution. So um, I grabbed this chart from uh, Cisco. Right now, let's see. We're about 23 billion devices connected to the internet in four or five years. Uh, Cisco's predict, predicting that we're going to have over 50 billion devices. So in four years, more than double, more than double. So we have smart everything. We have smartphones, smart vehicles, smart watches, smart devices, smart wearables, smart everything. Everything is smart. So where, where is that going to lead us? It's going to lead us to a smart world. Okay? So, if you look at this, I can't even see it. Uh, smart roads. Is Lawa going to have smart roads? Maybe yes, maybe no. But the infrastructure needs to be prepared for it, okay? Noise. Are we going to have smart noise monitor? Maybe yes, maybe no, but the LAWA infrastructure has to be ready for it. Similarly, smart parking, sm smart traffic, what's that? Smart access control, smart pollution, okay? How do we monitor it, okay? So this is basically the, 
the, the ecosystem of the Internet of Things. On your uh, right here, these are the devices, sensors. You'll send the data to the Internet. The Internet will go to data storage, analyze it, come out with a recommendation, goes to some remote decision maker, boom, it's going to happen. That's the ecosystem. Most of this uh, devices, Internet of Things devices, will be connected wirelessly, right? Wirelessly. So the challenge Lava IT faces is this is our ex existing infrastructure. Our in existing infrastructure is reliable. It is scalable and it is secure, but it's a wired infrastructure. So we have to make the leap from going from a wired infrastructure to a wireless infrastructure so we can support all these um, different uh, wireless technology, Zigbee, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, cellular, 4G, 5G. The list is endless, right? But with challenges comes opportunities, right? So the Office of IT Infrastructure, what do we need to do and who do we need to hire such that we can move from a wired infrastructure to a wireless infrastructure? So here's the contract opportunities. Obviously, the equipment upgrades, the network, the servers, the workstation, the data storage, they all have life cycles. So eventually, all those devices that we talked about, all this equipment I talked about earlier, eventually they have to be replaced. All right. Technology is always fast moving. There's always a life cycle. Uh, Bill Gates was uh, saying that everyone should replace their uh, workstation every three years. Whether it's every three years, four years, five years, I don't know. But eventually, you have to change your, replace your workstation to keep up with technology. Uh, upgrade and exist, upgrade existing and build new Lawa IT rooms. Okay, even though we have a lot of IT rooms, it needs to be upgraded to support the wireless. Okay, upgrade existing and build new Lawa fiber backbone. This is fiber backbone for the campus, and this is fiber backbone within the terminals. A lot of the future equipment is going to require a fiber connectivity. And of course, last but not least, we need to build out a, a distributed antenna system, uh, both in, in doors and within the campus. Uh, I don't think we really uh, have a choice because uh, the wireless uh, revolution is coming. Uh, additional staffing and additional resources. Uh, basically, uh, our group is breaking, broken down into four groups, engineering management, documentation management, contract management, and inventory management. So who, who are we looking for? Obviously, we, we're going to need the planners to support us. Uh, BICSI certification would be very helpful. Engineers and designers. Electrical, mechanical, uh, IT designers, cost estimators. We are going to have to prepare cost estimators to obtain uh, the budget and approval of these uh, uh, projects. Surveyors, builders and installers, inspectors, technicians. When you get all these tons of fiber, we're going to need technicians to uh, maintain, repair, and test every single fiber circuits. Document control, we need as-built uh, documentation. And more importantly, will we be able to find these documentations after we, we get it? As-built documentation. And uh, 
inventory. Uh, there's going to be a lot of repairs, and we have to be able to be able to respond to them. And we also need trainers, education, educators. There's going to be a lot of training required for staff because uh, we expect to bring a lot of people on board. So at the end of the day, okay, at the end of the day, when we get everything installed, when we transition our legacy infrastructure to a wireless infrastructure that is reliable, scalable, secure, and re robust, when our vision becomes reality, we're going to need one more position that we need to fill. We'll need a party planner. <laughs> because we're going to need to celebrate our accomplishments. I could play this song all day, but anyways. Uh, that's the end of my presentation. Thank you for being such a great audience. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, last but not least, I need to thank uh, Alner Kurabia for helping with me with this presentation. He did a great job. Uh, so thank you, Alner. Thank you.